Hello friends. So today's video is going to be a combination of a few different things. It's going to be a book haul, it's going to be an unboxing, and it's also going to be a giveaway. Before jumping into that though, a big thank you to Redbubble for working with me on today's video. The last time I did a book haul, I got to show you a bunch of goodies that I got recently. It's almost the holidays. I have a great 15% off discount for anything that you want from Redbubble's website, but there's a few different items that I'd purchased for my husband, for my friend, and also for myself. And I just thought a lot of it was really great for the fall season. But one of the things that I mentioned last time was that I got a couple of puzzles from them. I actually finished the puzzle. I don't know about you, but I really like doing a puzzle while listening to an audiobook. And then also I got this sweatshirt. I love their sweatshirts. I always get them in extra larges because I like really big, cozy sweatshirts, and I may have treated myself to some uh, more sweatshirts <laughs> from them for some different anime that I like and video games that I like. So I'll be getting those soon. But anyway, thank you to Redbubble for working with me. If you are looking for a great, unique gift to give a family member, definitely check them out. You can find so many different things that I'm sure somebody in your life is going to love, and it's not gonna be you know, a gift card or something quite so basic. Jumping into some book haul stuff. I got so lucky. I went to my local bookstore on a, a Sunday evening and my husband, because it's almost the holidays, he's having to work more. And I asked him, hey, when you get home from work, do you wanna go to the bookstore? And he was like, sure. And we took a few things in, got some store credit, and I found so many things, and he found stuff, and it cost $2 for all of it because of our store credit, and I couldn't believe it. Plus, so many of the books were used, so they were less anyway. And darn my local used bookstores for just having the best deals. If you're ever in Arizona, I say it all the time, but you gotta check out, there's two different ones, Changing Hands, but then also Bookman's, and Booksman, Bookman's was the one, I sounded like a chicken, Bookman's was the one that I went to recently and got so many. So one thing I got, I already put it in another room because it's kind of in a TBR section, would be a Realm Breaker. And this is one that I picked up because it was one of the Goodreads Choice Award nominees. And I'm trying to make my way through basically all of those books. And I needed a copy of that one. So I found that. I also found the Inheritance Games. I've just heard a lot about these and I'm very curious about them. I do like dipping my toes in other genres here and there. I know there was a sequel that came out recently. And so I saw this one and they had a new copy at the front that was like 10 bucks and it was a paperback. And I was like, eh. I don't know, if I if I could find a hardback, that would be cool. And then sure enough, <laughs> I found a hardback and it was used and it was $9, so it was cheaper than the paperback. And I snatched it up because that's a heck of a deal. I also found two books in the same series that I have seen here and there. I don't know a ton about them, but I'm always intrigued. And I think about buying them and I'm like, you have so many other books. But again, at my local used bookstore, they were on sale and I had store credit. I'm broken record. Every book haul is basically my local bookstore. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it would be The Prison Healer and The Gilded Cage. I haven't seen too many people talk about it here on booktube. I think I usually see it on Instagram. So if you have read these and you have thoughts, let me know just again to give you insight onto how great the bookstores are. Uh, this one was only $10.50 and then this one was $10 for these uh, basically perfect condition hardbacks. It's just because they've been previously owned that they were discounted. Both the local used bookstores that I'm constantly talking about have both a mix of used books and then new books. Bookman's in particular tends to have mostly used books with a few that they'll get in, especially around the holidays, they'll get new books in. And you can still use your store credit on them. It's just that they'll end up being full price still. And uh, I saw the book Ace of Spades. It still even has uh, a Barnes and Noble sticker on it. But I saw this one at the front. I saw a couple copies and I checked both of them and I'm like, okay, they're both new. And then I went to the back where the regular fantasy books and YA books are and stuff like that. And I saw this one again and I was like, mm, is that one used? And it was. And the sticker is a pretty big giveaway. But the other ones were full price and then this one was only $10.50. Like I said, my husband also got a couple of books and then I got those and Realm Breaker. And with our store credit, we only had to pay $2. If you ever come to Arizona, you have to go. The last time I was at Bookman's, I also got a, a couple of things. Um, I, you know, it's really frustrating when new editions of books come out and you're like, you know what? I think I like those more than my old editions. I'll just go ahead and take my old editions in. 
And then they make an adaptation. And then now the old editions are really hard to find and they're worth a lot of money. And you're like, dang it. <laughs> and you know what? I'm, I am a Grishaverse fan. I do really like the Grishaverse. I used to have the old Grisha trilogy covers. And then I was like, I'll just get the newer ones. This was before I used to have a lot of different editions of the same books I owned. So I found these, which go for so much money nowadays. I've seen people charging so much money for these on different used, uh, like buy, sell, trade groups. And uh, this one was 550, and then this one was, let's see, six dollars. So now I just need one more. I need the first one, and I'm really sad because chances are somebody brought in all three, and then somebody s just snatched up that first one. I was like, dang it. But hey. Eleven fifty for both of these. I'll take it. I kind of miss having the old cover of Vicious because that was a pretty cool cover. Um, and that was another one where when they re-released them, I got the new ones. Except the difference being that that series is never going to be completed in its original artwork where this one was. Next up are a couple of books I had pre-ordered and then finally arrived. One of them is a UK edition and that's why it took a while to get here and the other one was a signed edition and that's why it took a while to get here. I'd had an arc from NetGalley so I was able to read it before I got my copies but that would be for Jade Fire Gold and I'm a little sad because I ended up doing a US versus UK book covers video and I didn't have these until I think the day after <laughs> I did that video uh, but now I can actually compare them in person. I still think the art style of this one is very different and unique. I've seen some people say they really like that some of the artwork that you've seen from things like webtoons and stuff is starting to get more popular and they feel like this is what that looks like. I haven't really checked out webtoons. If you're a big webtoons person, let me know and let me know your thoughts on it. I know that Nikki Pau Preto's uh, Crown of Feather series has a webtoons adaptation. This I don't think does. It's just that somebody commented that the art style looked like that. This is a strange comment to make, but I feel like some books are killing it with the spine game. Does anybody feel like that's becoming a thing? I'm seeing some pretty fantastic spines. This one, I think is great. <laughs> anyway, so I have talked about this book already a little bit. If you'd like to see more information about the book itself, I'll have a video where I talk about it. But anyway, it's a signed edition and it came with uh, some beautiful additional things. It's got uh, my name in it and it's signed and it came with beautiful artwork. It also came with this little uh, bookmark. And then we've got the artwork for the characters, which I think it's so beautiful. And then we have this map and it's got the cover again here. And then this one is reverse. So on this side, you see mostly the girl and on this side, you see mostly the guy. And I think these are so nice. I like getting stuff like this when it comes to goodies because you can use these things as bookmarks and you can use it for bookmarks of that book or you can use it for bookmarks of other books and then you can be like oh yeah this is nice artwork and I, I love character art anyway so really like that I got these. The last couple things to show before we get into the unboxing I have done a video where I go over a bunch of different editions of the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab and when I did that video I had ordered the Illumicrate editions but they'd had some some difficulties with some printing type of stuff when it came to the color of the pages and then they had to try to do things differently and anyway I felt very bad because they were very transparent about what was going on and just seemed really unfortunate but that meant that I didn't get my copies in time to show them in that video but I have them now and they're pretty cool I must say so this is the artwork that is on the UK editions but with these special editions you get them as silhouettes and they're printed right on the hardback. I like that the spines match and then on top of that the pages because you have different colored Londons it's a portal fantasy and so you have the different kind of shades here. I don't have the first one they released the first one and then they released the second and the third which is what these are so I don't have the first one. Now time for the unboxing so for a little while I was a a rep for Illumicrate and they have entered a new rep cycle and so some other people are reps now but this is the last box I got from them and it happens to be for a book that I had already read and so I'd had my own copy of this and now there's this copy and I'd like to give this copy to someone else especially if you were a big fan of it. Giveaway will be just for the book. I'm afraid that if I try to ship out some of the other things that they might get damaged and that would be a big bummer. It'll be a slightly fancier version. So the book would be Iron Widow and then you can see the edges have this fun little detail to them. We have 
this mug that I think is really beautiful. There's always a lot of really nice details with them. The shape of them is very nice. It's a nice size. I just like the colors and the artwork that they end up putting here. They also have a really fantastic smelling candle. It says the convergence on it. It says Amelia's Kitchen Candles. It's a nice little size. It smells really nice. Hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> I really like, I like candles. They always end up having monthly enamel pins and this one is specifically inspired by Iron Widow. So you have the colors matching and I think the design on it goes really well with the, the chrysalises, the things in the book that they control. So I have an art print that is inspired by the book, which is steeped in gold. I'm always a big fan of art prints, as I said, with Jade Fire Gold. I always think that these are great things to get, especially as bookmarks, because even though this is on the bigger side, it still is gonna fit in a lot of books, and I think that that artwork is amazing. And then we have these fantastic measuring cups. They're black with kind of a copper rose gold color handle. And then on the bottoms of the measuring cups, you have a, a hat and a really fun design. Took the next one out of its wrapping just so I could better show it to you. It says it's a book organizer. So it's like, it's like a pouch and it's got this amazing artwork on it. And then there's some details on the inside. It looks like you can put a couple different books, but because there's this crease here, you can kind of put the books on either side. If you'd like to enter to win the book, all you have to do is put a sword emoji and you're good to go. I'll announce on my community tab when we have a winner. So be on the lookout over there. But anyway, that is it for the book haul and unboxing. Thank you again to Redbubble for working with me. Definitely check them out. Use the discount code, it'll save you 15%. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye.